While you're here, hit that thumbs up, also pass out my page and hit that subscribe button. Thanks very much guys. Well hello everybody, nice to see you. Uh, I'm sorry I haven't been putting anything on uh, the last uh, couple of months. There's not been a lot to show uh, apart from uh, my leaks have been gassed out uh, unfortunately. Um, so I'm going to have to try and see if I can get some stock from friends. Uh, I'll see who's got what remaining. Uh, I've got quite a few onions spare. Uh, well, I've got a few. Uh, I think probably about uh, 18 spare, roughly. Roughly. Uh, see what happens. Um, sorry, uh, it's a bit shaky. I haven't got me uh, selfie stick. So I'm, uh, I'm just... I've just received me new little uh, gift. I've just got me uh, my new grow tent. So I'm gonna get that up tonight. Uh, I'll pop a little review, uh, well not a little review, but a little, a little um, show around that, and I'll might as well give you a little view of me leeks as well. So, because I haven't put any uh, me leeks, me onions, because I haven't had anything on for a while. So uh, I'll show you a little update on them. Uh, I've just finished graft, so I'm gonna quickly pop this tent up, and then I'm gonna uh, transfer the lights in, get the onions in, and then pop in the shower. Uh, May as well do it straight away. Uh, so I look forward to it. So I'll see you shortly anyway, as I right? speak to you soon folks.
here is the PG onions, the Peter Glazebrook onions, which are looking absolutely fan dabby dozy. I'm gonna have to, gonna have to sort that one out before it goes in. But yes, like I said, looking marvellous. I'm happy with the way they're coming along. There you go, like I said, there's one PG onion. I haven't even uh, I haven't even checked the roots on these actually, but I have ordered some nice uh, 11 centimeter pots, one liter, uh, to pot these up at the weekend. So I'm just gonna tip it out now and have a look. Oh yes, oh yes. Lovely, lovely root system on them, so. Yeah, I think they might actually have another week left actually. So I'm just gonna, I don't want to disturb them too much because uh, I know uh, I'm taking it pretty much similar to the way that you would grow your onions in your garden. Uh, and the onions in the garden uh, don't really like to be disturbed. So I'm gonna try as little as possible to disturb them. A little bit of uh, tip burn on the, leaf burn on the leaves there. Uh, that would be off the light. Whoops. And these are the Billy Lamb onions. And these are looking rather nice as well. I would say some of them are just as nice as me Peter Glaze Brooks, but I'd say the Peter Glaze Brooks have the edge a little bit over the Billy Lambs at the moment. Um, no, it's just that the Billy Lambs aren't looking as chunky as the Peter Glazebrook. So, uh, aye, pretty much. That's all, really. Come on. Come on. Yeah, we'll just have a quick check of the roots on these as well. Put one out the bottom there nicely. Oh yes, just exactly the same as the Peter Glaze Brooks. The root up lovely there. I'm happy with them. Uh, I'm really happy, pleased with these as well. Um, just absolutely lovely. The first ever time I've done heavy onions. Uh, and I would say that they're going a success at the moment. And they both get the equal amount of light, and that's perfect. Right, I see, and I can put some smaller stuff, my chilies and stuff, along the left hand side. Uh, vice versa, but I, I, let us see. I am going to speak to the manufacturer to see if I can get an extra bar so I can move the lights along and I can have more uh, coverage for light because uh, the, at the moment the left hand side isn't getting as much light as the right hand side because obviously you've got the 300 watt here and the 125 there. But uh, we'll just see what happens. I might get an extra 125 and put it down the left hand side. We'll see what's crap that one. I'm still going to have to have extra balls, so I'm still going to have to speak to the manufacturer and see if I can uh, 
get a few extra balls for that. So yes, uh, it is very moment in time. I'm happy with that. So, uh, not too bad. Christy, Christy. And these are my uh, onions for just for eating. I just watered them there, that's why they're a bit flat. Uh, I'm not very happy with the amount of red. The, they're a red onion. They're a nice sized red onion. Yeah, I'm not very, I'm not over pleased with them as there's not many actually germinated. You only get about 100 seeds for about three pounds. Uh, so I'm not very too pleased with them. But uh, I did feel to mention, uh, I, I use the Lisa Craig onions for uh, for the table, I, I, I use them to eat, um, I don't use them as a show onion, they grow nice, nice solid bulbs, nice like good sized onions, uh, and that, them are my own safe seed, so uh, what I kept off last year um, for from the garden as well, um, so that's exactly the same as what I'm using this year, so safe seed from last year, so uh, well, two year ago, so this is the uh, the the year after you put it back in for seed, it grows, it gets a seed head, and you keep hold of the head for seed. Uh, but the mammoth reds, this is the second year I've grown them, and they'll be going into. Uh, I'll be putting the. I've got a two left in the allotment. I'll be putting back in for seed. Uh, so uh, that the you'll have to keep an eye on for them videos. <laughs> well, my videos are few and far apart, but this year should be a lot better. So we'll see what happens happens with them. So. I'll have to get something to pile up to keep that up uh, higher up so it's closer to the light so the onions don't stretch too far because uh, I don't want them stretching so uh, what I'll probably end up doing is I'll, I'll move that table, I'll move that uh, I'll move that over to there under the smaller light and I'll use this area for me other onions These are extra uh, PGs. There's um, two, four, six, seven, seven P. Uh, yes, seven, seven extra PGs, and I've got uh, twelve extra Billy lambs. So I that's them. So that, that's what I've got spare for friends and family, whatever. Sorry about that, like folks. I've uh, I've just I got a phone call earlier. I've been editing the video there for tonight, and uh, I've just realised that the video actually cut short because I was getting a phone call off the uh, life insurance company. So uh, let's talk about that. But uh, basically, uh, as you can see, when I open it, yeah, I've practically got all my onions and that uh, the way I want them. Uh, the the lights are in spot on now. Uh, I will say that I maybe should have got a ten, a little bit taller, just because with us having the three hundred watt CFL, it's uh, really really big. Uh, so the two foot uh, canes are actually touching the light. Well, th they would be if I put them directly under the light, but I've managed to maneuver the uh, canes so that they're not actually touching the light; they're just off the light. Uh, so I'll quickly open it up. I'll show you it and get out the way, uh, and then we'll go on from there. So I'll. Uh, I'll quickly unzip it there. Oh, I've got them off. <laughs> there we go. Well, that's the uh, that's them there at the moment. Uh, I'll quickly turn one of the lights back on just a sec. Yeah. So there. Uh, that's the one twenty five over the far side. Uh, the three hundred watt is a lot a lot brighter than that. Um, so. Uh, it doesn't really do much doing it like that, but uh, that's that's pretty much it really. Uh, I'm gonna start me 
Um, me hot chilies off soon. Me habaneros. Um, and I think that's pretty much all I can really get put in. Really, uh, habaneros. Uh, I've got some Thai culinary, and uh, I have got some reaper seeds somewhere as well. Uh, they'll be going in, but the likes of the cayenne and the jalapenos don't go in for another few weeks. Uh, but we'll see how we'll get on anyways. Uh, I'll check to see what they like at the weekend, the onions, and I'll see whether I should pot them up or not. If they're not needing potted up, I'll wait another week. Um, they probably, they probably, I'll probably just pot them up and get it over and done with. Uh, plus it reduces the risk of them starting to bulb up, as uh, you've seen on Dean Hood's video. Um, a couple of his got left a little bit too long and they started to bulb out but anyways look that's the rambling uh that's that's me tent it is a little large for the area that i've got at the minute but uh it's only temporary so we'll try and find some of that space for it for next year uh, i'm just rambling on now so um anyways like i said just a quick update of what the actual grow tent looks like with the onions in and stuff uh, so that's me done for now. I'll uh, I'll catch us on the next one. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to put a video up at the weekend. Uh, a little bit potting up of the onions and sowing a couple of seeds and see what else I can get up to. I uh, will do a small update on the garlic as well as it's the first time I've ever done garlic and it's looking cracking. So I'm happy with that as well. Um, so uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, until the next time folks. Take care, stay safe and don't do nothing I won't do. So, what are you doing, folks?